In today's video, we're going to be ranking the top 5 minifigures that will be released in the LEGO Star Wars Summer 2023 wave. Now starting off our list at number 5 here, I have the new Captain Rex minifigure. I never in any world would imagine that I put the Captain Rex at the bottom of a list, but with this wave with so many stacked minifigures, Captain Rex is just not going to cut it. Now this Captain Rex is going to come in the UCS Venator Cruiser, which is releasing on October 1st, which I'm very excited for. This set's going to cost $650 and include Admiral Ilarin as well. That being said, the last P2 Rex goes for well over $200 currently, so this is very exciting. Now the main reason I have this minifigure at number 5 is because it won't include a comma piece. The comma piece is going to be printed on the legs like it was in the 5 for Specialist Battle Pack, and I'm just not a fan of that. I feel like LEGO should have gone the extra bit and just given us another comma. But overall, I can't complain. We asked for a P2 Rex, LEGO delivered, and we're getting a P2 Rex. Now this Rex will have a unique face print, I'm just using the Angry Clone for example, but it will have a unique face print and a band-aid on the side of the head to show the inhibitor chip removal point. At the number 4 spot here, I have the brand new Lego Boba Fett minifigure. This minifigure looks amazing. I love the leg printing, torso printing, and the brand new arm printing we're getting on this figure. He's going to come in this $16 mech set, which makes him affordable and easy to access for all Lego fans, which I also like about this minifigure. But when we compare this Boba Fett to the previous versions of the Boba Fett, it honestly looks really, really good, especially considering that it's in such a cheap set. Now, there has been a lot of stuff I've seen on this minifigure. One of the questions is, is this minifigure a worthwhile investment? In my opinion, no. This set is not worth investing in. It's just too cheap of a set, and the minifigure and set have too much hype going into the summer wave that I just don't think it's going to be worth investing in. I doubt this Boba Fett will have a value over $10 at any point, just because of how easy it will be to get your hands on this set. Now minifigures number 3 and number 2 both come from the same set, which I'm sure you can guess is the Republic Gunship. This is an August 1st release with 5 minifigures including Padme, the Chancellor, 2 Shock Troopers, and Commander Fox. Now starting off here with our Phase 2 Commander Fox, this is probably going to be the first and last one of these guys ever made, so I'm really excited for him. I think it's going to be a great looking minifigure. It'll look something like this minifig right here. This is obviously just a decal. Now... As much as I hate Fox for killing fives, he is a cool looking clone trooper, so it'll be nice to get him in Lego. The same problem with this is Captain Rex, the comma is going to be printed onto the legs. So what I would do, go onto Clone Army Customs or a similar site and just spend the extra 4 to $5 dollars that it is to get a comma. I think it'll make the minifigure so, so much better. Now along with Fox, we have to have his Phase 2 Shock Troopers. I think these minifigures are going to look absolutely amazing in LEGO, especially in this new print. We obviously have gotten these before, but I think they'll look great. Hopefully they do include the red arms like you see in this fake leak right here. If you want more information on the fake leak, check out my previous video. But this minifigure is going to be amazing. I don't really have much to say about it other than that. I am really excited. But to wrap things up, at the number one spot, we have none other than the Sabine Wren. This is a minifigure that is getting really slept on right now. So for all my investors out there, I'd make sure to keep on a lookout. This minifigure is going to come in the T6 Jedi Shuttle, which is going to cost $70 and include three minifigs. Now, according to the rumors, this minifigure is going to be brand new from the helmet to the legs to the torso to the heads, and I'm pretty sure it's including arm printing as well. Basically, every part of this minifigure is going to be printed really, really nicely, and the rumor says that this was going to be a very good looking minifigure. So that's why I have it at the number one spot, because it looks like LEGO is putting some careful detail into it. Subscribe.